Governor Alex Oti of Abia State has given a press conference, normally monthly press conference, where he briefs the press. And what he says in this one will send shocks down everyone's spines because he closed down the law Pantakato market a few weeks ago. And all over Nigeria, even some Northerners gave notice that all Igbos in their area must go back to the east because Alex Soti has closed the cattle market in Law Panta. And it is, of course, Fulanese that mostly do their business there. Few days ago, the same group of the market leaders went to see Alex Soti and they gave a press conference saying that they now agree with what Alex Soti did, that there's no more problem. But hold on, because the bomb, the bomb is still coming. I will tell you something that will shock you. It was all quiet. They said everything is fine. They have discussed with him, but we did not know that there was a huge problem there until Alex Oti gave this press conference. And what did he say? Wait for it. Around the Lock Pantakato market in Umunuch, they found 50 decomposed human beings. 50 human beings that have decomposed. They also found 20 headless bodies, and they recovered countless skeletons. In a market, cattle market, in Law Panta Umunuj. Wow. Wow. This one is like, did they have a governor there before? I thought there's somebody called, uh, uh, what was his name? What was he doing in Imo State, in Abia State? His name is Ikbazu. What did he do? Umunoch has been in the news. There has been countless kidnappings around that Umunoch Kato market. And there used to be a military checkpoint near there. People disappear there. They never see them again. They chase them and the military will look the different way. They walk hand in hand with the kidnappers. A lot of them, Fulani young boys, don't say you had it from me because when they kidnapped a Methodist um, bishop, he came out and gave a press conference saying that those that kidnapped him were Fulani boys. He said it to the heron of the world. So don't say it's from me. And this business have continued around this market. People, can you imagine 50 decomposed human beings around this cattle market? Oh my goodness. I don't know how to relate this. So the governor said this during his monthly media uh, chat, which is tied governor Alex Oti speaks to Abias. He held it was held in the government house in Omaha, yeah? and she saw assured that his government is committed to tackling the issues of insecurity headlong without minding whose ox is God. You don't have to mind because this is abominable. He said that prostitution, narcotics, trade, and a whole lot of other criminal vices as is centered around this law panta cattle market. And that's what necessitated them to raid the market. And then they had to close down some brothels that these people used to conduct their operations. They had to, he had to close it down. And he has said that they monitored everything because they installed electronic systems to monitor what is happening. And they have seen things. So they have videos and records of what had happened. And this is very unfortunate. It's very, very unfortunate and regrettable. So now he insisted that the Lockwanta market would now become a daily market. 
is no more only cattle market that it would open at 6 a.m. in the morning and must close at 6 p.m. in the evening. So it will now become a general market with sections allotted to the cattle dealers and other businesses also. And he made it public that his administration is equally going to fence the market all in effort to ensure adequate security for the people of Abia State and beyond because many people who were kidnapped or whose skeletons or dead bodies or decomposing bodies were found may not be necessarily Abias. It's people traveling from states around Abia, be it rivers, Imo, Anambra, wherever. So according to him, the Lokpanta area, the area because the market is the center of the activities and the area surrounding them was notorious for kidnapping and armed robbery. It is known there has been countless reports, many attacks, escapes, and those who did not make it. Even when some Reverend sisters were kidnapped, it was still the same area. Priests, all kinds of people have been kidnapped in this woman niche around this log Banta area. And it is being perpetuated by these cattle dealers or young people who live there, saying that they are cattle uh, uh, dealers. They sleep in the market. They don't live among human beings. They don't rent accommodation. They sleep in the market. What they do in the night and in the morning and the day, nobody can account for that. So he insisted that this kidnapping and armed robbery in the area must stop. The market will no more be a hideout. It is not more going to offer as a shelter for these people who perpetuate these evil acts. So it's going to be a daily market. He said that though the policy was misunderstood, of course, the people will not know why. It's only now that he said this that we are coming to see the evil that has been done there. But after a meeting with the leadership of the markets, everyone agreed with the government stand on making the market a daily one for the good of all. Because we are full of rumors. Oh, you close the market and everybody is shouting, Fulanese, house Houses, or whoever, that they have chased cattle the last away. But how, which government will be watching why people are slaughtered about, around this Lock Manta, this Umunoch area? It has been in the news for over years. And Okezi Ikbazo sat there as governor. For eight good years, he did nothing. And now Alex Oti is in government for about uh, six months or whatever, and he's been able to read the market and discover that most of these people, many of them, must have been killed during the time of Okezi. Bazo. Countless skeletons, skeletons, at least it takes time for how do people live around there? How do they even operate in the market? Who are the people behind this crime? The cattle dealers, the main big ones who have those uh, cattle, why did they allow these uh, uh, auctions to use their market to perpetuate this kind of crime? Could something like this happen in a northern state where Igbos have their market? Never. They will burn everything down longest time and slaughter as many people as they can. The people of Fabia should be happy that Alex O.T. is there and I hope that he will continue to do the right thing. This kind of action is supposed to happen in Imo State also, where this kind of kidnapping and killing has been happening without anybody doing anything. That's all we have for you on this video. We are fully back on this channel to bring you regular updates. Please like this video, share, and subscribe to our channel. And we will see you in our next update. Stay blessed.